Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this sometimes sunny, sometimes rainy Sunday afternoon here. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Laura Villamont, and I am the head of outreach and community experience here at the Framingham Public Library. And you are here with us at our Sunday classical concert featuring Matthew Graybill and Rhiannon Boehner. A few thanks to our sponsors here. We're sponsored by the Roof Brothers Supermarkets, Metro Credit Union, St. Mary's Credit Union, Framingham Attorney Jeffrey Steinberg, Middlesex Savings Bank, Brookdale Senior Living at Cushing Park, the Framingham Cultural Council, and the Friends of the Framingham Library. Your memberships and contributions to the Friends help make programs like this possible. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Special thanks also to Bill Radkin for his assistance in filming this afternoon's concert. We are so thrilled to feature Matthew and Rhiannon. Matthew Graybill was praised by The New Yorker as an exceptional young artist, and his debut album received outstanding reviews. Rhiannon is a violist, violinist with the Ulysses Quartet and also an assistant concertmaster at the Cape Symphony. She's also a graduate of the Walnut Hill School, right around the corner here in Munich. So welcome to both of you, and we are so pleased to feature you for this afternoon's concert. We just wanted to quickly say thank you for being with us this afternoon, and also a big thank you to the Framingham Library for continuing these concerts during this time. I know that an incredible amount of work and dedication has gone into the every aspect of making it possible. So we really appreciate it and are happy to be here. And also, hopefully, we'll all be able to see you again soon live in the near future. Um, we'll begin with the work by Bach today. This is from one of his sonatas for violin and keyboard. Originally, it would have been violin and harpsichord, but it translates beautifully to the piano as well. And this is the Siciliano from his C minor sonata.
Next, we move to the music of Mozart, his Sonata K380 in E flat, which is not the most played of his sonatas, but we haven't figured out why. This is one of our favorites. The first movement is really dramatic and vivacious. The second movement I find particularly soulful and touching in the way that Mozart can at times particularly be. The third movement is just really rollicking fun. It's sort of a reminder that although we think of Mozart sometimes as quite proper, he had quite a naughty sense of humor and was really sort of a, a fun party guy, I like to think. So I hope you enjoy the journey of this sonata. <laughs>
some music by Brahms, and this is his second violin sonata in A major, Opus 100, which was written uh, during a summer that Brahms spent in Switzerland with a um, close friend of his, and he was kind of in an environment where he was at peace and happy, and he said that there were so many musicians there, so many melodies were floating around, you could trip on them. There's a letter that he wrote in which he made that exclamation. And I think Brahms was in a very inspired mood there, and those song-like lyrical qualities come into this work. Um, again, it's in three movements. And I also just want to point out, Brahms is one of the great masters of something we call organicism in music, which is taking just a small idea, a small motive, actually, the very opening motive that you would hear in the sonata, and working it through its paces, and you'll hear it showing up in all sorts of different forms 
throughout all three movements. So this goes to show how these great composers were functioning on so many levels all at once. So we hope you enjoy this Sonata in A Major by Johannes Brahms.
we've reached the last number on our program, last but not least. Um, one of George Gershwin's, well, George and Ira Gershwin, although we don't have the words here, so George Gershwin's most beloved numbers. It's from Porgy and Bess, and I think I don't need to say much about it, but it ain't necessarily so. <laughs>